day one. So we are awake. Uh, <laughs> early. Early. It's uh, just about 6 a.m. And uh, first car out's at 8. We'll be out at 8.39. Uh, but we wanted to make sure we had all of our communication stuff and yep. the car packed up right and making sure everything functioned right for the first day where we'll go from Kirkland to Quinnell, British Columbia. And we're making sure to ratchet strap everything down um, so it's secure. Uh, once you have a lot of extra things like boots and um, hydro flask growlers full of water and all that miscellaneous oddball stuff that's not in a container, it fills up pretty quickly. So uh, we've had to reconfigure a little bit, trying to figure out you know, the safest way to be able to uh, you know, put everything in our vehicle. So day one. Day one. Day one. Here we go. Good communication. Don't kill each other. Yeah. <laughs> All right, this is the official cockpit of Team Crankshaft Culture. And Mr. Andy. Hey. Lots and lots of cords. It took me a lot longer to set up with the cords than I thought. But we've got everything as best as we can. So, here we go. So, we're still driving, right? Yep. I got pee again. <laughs> so, I'm quickly finding out the Alcan is part TSD, part bladder control exercise. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, you're supposed to like hydrate, right? But then you gotta pee all the time. Anyway. Uh, uh, yeah, so, and then the other half is trying to pass people on no passing, or, uh, excuse me, trying to pass people. And then oh. you get stuck behind a semi truck, like, Doing just like, like we're at 10 miles an hour. Yeah. Lovely. And I, I got a local on my butt in a Jeep Cherokee. Anyway. Went behind the wheel of a Pajero. We're about 20 miles south of the Yukon border, and uh, you know the only thing you see on this road is the occasional truck, and they all are white. Um, might be mining or something, or semis. Tons and tons of semis. But there's an Oldsmobile Alero that passed us, kicked up a huge rock, and I don't know if you can see this, but right there, right on the, the inside part of the sticker here, is a huge splinter and a crack on our Alcan 5000 decal of where our first huge rock chip and shatter is. Ooh. Boo! Now we have to replace both Pajero windshields. Boo! But, hey, maybe the Alcan 5000 sticker helped a little bit. Maybe it's going to keep it a little together <laughs> so it won't splinter all the way down our windshield. Day, it's probably what? 36. 36? Said. It's 36 outside. Yeah, we've gone from three up on top. Yeah. Well, we use one. Down to 16, and then it went up to 20. Yeah, you and can get up there, we'll take your picture while you're Wow. Yeah, that's insane.
Heck yeah. <laughs> you guys are awesome. Thank you. Hey, pay it forward. We all do. <laughs> That's what it's all about. If you look closely, we're just outside of Pelly Crossing right now. And the road is actually graded with grooves, with linear grooves. We just saw a sign for a car wash on the right. If we need to stop, we can. <laughs> and we could do a car wash too if we wanted to. Um, but if you see... I wonder if they uh, used antifreeze in it. The, the, the grooves um, basically help with uh, traction, which is pretty interesting. Do you guys say it again? What was it? Norther. Norther? We're gonna go north until you can't go norther. <laughs> norther. In Wisconsin, you go north until you can't go norther. Slancha. <laughs> <laughs> so today is day five. It's really early in the morning. We're already dressed in five layers, four layers, Please, yeah. something like that, and we're ready to head up to Inuvik. Um, we believe day five is the specific day to honor Rod Hall, the legendary late and great racer. Um, in 19, uh, mid 80s, he had taken a Dodge Raider, Mitsubishi built Dodge Raider. 86. 86, I believe it is, yeah. Um, up on the same Alcan 5000 Trek, and he was one of five vehicles to actually be able to get that far up there. Um, of course, we've got the Terra Tractor, our Mitsubishi Pajero. We're going to be attempting the same thing today. So we're as bestly, bestly prepared. We're as best prepared as we can be, and the Terra Tractor is running great. Uh, everything's, you know, status quo as, as far as what everything is uh, needing to be and doing and, and, you know, everything's running very smoothly right now, which we're really excited about. So we just wanted to um, what, wish the best to the entire uh, Rod Hall family and uh, dedicate this day specifically for Rod. Mm -hmm. That's right. This is our first major incline of the Dempster Highway. We're twisting and curving. We're about 70 miles outside of Dawson City right now. It's absolutely gorgeous. Even though the mountains are ghosts, as Andy says, um, they're still peeking out here and there for us to visit them. Um, it, it's really serene. We're losing a lot of trees now, which is pretty crazy. And uh, we're headed towards the Arctic Circle. And there is the plow. All right, so we are stopped here on the Dempster Highway. Uh, right our sweeps right vehicle, uh, which is a Ford Raptor, uh, apparently was, I guess, trying to pull somebody else out and they uh, they ended up getting stuck. This Mini has a frozen steering linkage and he's got to get underneath it to unfreeze it, apparently. This is gonna be a front wheel drive uh, vehicle here, um, which is, he was looking for somebody with a, a floor jack that he could get under that thing because it's pretty low because it's all factory. So uh, we don't have anything. We've, just, we've got a bottle jack, a safe jack, and that's probably going to be too big to get under there. So um, I guess somebody's got it. But uh, I'm not really sure what the temperature is right now, but it is uh, definitely blowing. We've gone through some snow drifts and uh, we're only uh, 82 miles into the Dempster. down the road up up ahead because uh, there's like a foot and a half couple feet high of uh, snow drifting so we'll have to see they've got wider tires so they're gonna pack down we're gonna see how far we can get Truck, one semi, and about three graders. We haven't seen anybody. Literally, no. 
nobody other than us ralliers. Um, the road is fairly smooth, just uh, icing a couple spots, but um, we've been doing uh, about 65 to 68 clicks now, miles per hour. We were doing about 55 earlier, and uh, Andy's commandeering the Pajero very, very well. Um, engine is running extremely strong. Uh, the Schumann seats that we have are fabulous. I can't even tell you how it feels to get out of the vehicle 13 hours later in severe, you know, severe conditions, driving off-road, uh, you know, snow-packed, ice, snow, yeah, I said snow-packed, uh, all those kinds of good things, and, um, you know, you get out, and you're like, okay, let's sit back, and this and this, and you don't even realize that your body's not even fatigued, because you just feel normal. Uh, absolutely fantastic, and the high and low uh, heater settings are great. Uh, we've been using them sparingly, because if we don't want to uh, tax up the zero too much, but uh, they've been working great. We've been really happy with them. Uh, the Wabasto heater's been starting. Coolant heater has been uh, programmed about 90 minutes. Every morning now, we've been, uh, this morning, four below. Night before that, 12 below. Uh, night before that, I think four below. With the Wabasto heater and also the Optima batteries, uh, red tops, have been just making it jump to life right away. So, can't be happier. Everything's uh, working very well right now. The moment of truth has arrived. One of our huge bucket list items has just been crossed off our list. Yay! Hey, put it in the bus. You ready to go? You moved you. All right, you're good now. Hey! Oh, oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Almost. Oh, I wish I had my freaking super bungee for this shit. Get your drum out. Do something with yourself. I was going to. changing road conditions. Insane. We made it. We We're made it to Inuvik. Yes. And we succeeded in... Uh, sorry, it's 20 below. We're going to keep this short. Um, but we succeeded in recreating the steps as to Rod Hall and his 1986 run in the summer Alcan 5000. Uh, going all the way up to uh, Inuvik. So we're the sister car, uh, Mitsubishi Pajero, and we just literally got here. So, yay! <laughs> okay, we're really cold. Bye! Glasses. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna get We're negative this. almost 30 below Fahrenheit. This is the coldest that we've ever started our diesel with a Wabasto heater and Optima battery red tops. Here we go. Put it in neutral. Success. 
There she is. Woohoo! That's, that's damn cold, and we didn't have it running quite as long as we usually do, to be honest. Let's see what happens when I let the clutch out. Oh, a little more. She's going. We forgot about the time change. There was mountain standard time, so we lost an hour of our hour and a half uh, heating period. But yeah. all systems go. It took us twice, but for uh, half an hour, negative 30 or, or so, it's awesome. It is, a, <coughs> it is a very cold morning. Thank you to Optima Batteries for awesome cold cranking amps and for Obasto Thermotop Evo. Woohoo! Well, we had it. <laughs> there is the sun right there. Sunrise. We're just south of Tuk Tiap Tuk. It's probably negative 30. It's really freaking cold, but it's really freaking awesome that we're this far north and the terror tractor's still running strong. You look like you want to go back inside. <laughs> Bye! Awesome. Group shot of 38, 40, and 39. And the Arctic Ocean in Tuk the Yuk Tuk. The ice road truckers got nothing on us. <laughs> We're trucking down the ice road ourselves in the Pajero. And uh, can't say I've ever done anything like this before. It's like driving down the interstate if the interstate was actually a river that is frozen over with ice. It's got the bends in the road, it's got shoulders, it's got stop streets, signs, street signs. <laughs> it is different. This is amazing. Like this is this is not one of those experiences that you can just get anywhere. You gotta come up to the places like the Northwest and Territories <laughs> and Inuvik to to experience this kind of stuff. How what a cool experience. Yeah. So thankful this is reopened today. We're transferring fuel now. Andy, how much do we have left in our OEM tank? Uh, we had just about a quarter, maybe a little less than a quarter of a tank. So we are um, four wheel high the whole way. We are doing one of the big passes here on the Dempster, about 150. Uh, 153 miles outside of Inuvik now, headed southbound. Goal is to get to Eagle Plain, Plains tonight. And um, now we know why the dumpster was closed. Holy cow. This is pretty insane. So thankful we've got that tank, that auxiliary tank, man. I'm telling you. The flip of a button and you can sit here and not be in negative 20 below zero with a jerry can trying to fill this puppy up during this type of a situation. to see here. Judy and JR is just uh, filling up their their uh, gas tank with some fuel and Andy and I decided to try out the winch at the Arctic Circle. Got a little high centered out of big snow drift because uh, there are a bunch of people right over at the sign. We wanted to be courteous. Ah, no big deal. So we just gave ourselves a little winch out. All is good. Well, at least we went in a snowbank versus in the back of another vehicle. Um, Pajero, I think, is completely fine. Uh, very, very soft snow. But uh, there was a semi that was throwing a lot of dust. And there was several rally vehicles behind. And um, nobody could see other people braking. And uh, we were able to avoid hitting another vehicle. Just slid into a snowbank. So we're just waiting for a quick little tug for us to be able to get out. Uh, all is good. Everything was very, very soft as far as uh, landing. Um, I'm a little bit stuck up against uh, snow here, so I'm not able to get out, but that is all right. It was the softest, smoothest landing that we had, and we are ready for recovery. All right, day seven. We're more than half the way through to go from Inuvik to Whitehorse, and we just finished with driving the whole entire dumpster back. Our snail is looking snail-ish. He hasn't lost any antenna. He's still hanging on there for dear life, and he's got a really nice patina on our. Same with the Pajero. She's still running strong, treating us very well. 
giving us love back, all the love that we've been giving her. And uh, yeah, ready for the next part. Well, we just finished our second TSD today. Today is uh, day eight, I believe. Uh, we are headed on our way to um, to Fairbanks. And uh, yeah, the sun's setting and we have our first look at the fantastic mountains that are here in Alaska. Neither of us have been to Alaska yet. It's always been a bucket list item. We're crossing off so many bucket list items that we're having a hard time keeping track of them all while uh, running the Alcan Rally. Thank you now, 37. All right, diesel pump number five this morning. Trying to get to Coldfoot. The jitter started right up. Although none of the uh, diesel pumps want to work. So we tested all four at airport uh, gas station. 24 hour station. Didn't work at all. One trickled and didn't work. Now hopefully this one is. Oh, heck yeah, look at that. We got diesel. All right, well, we are hitting our second Arctic Circle. This one is now on the Dalton versus the Dempster that we did a couple days ago. So we will have effectively gone over the Arctic Circle in two spots, one in Canada, one in Alaska, up, beyond, and back down, which is really, really something special. Not sure how many other people can, uh, can uh, say that they've done the same thing. We made it! We made it! <laughs> Yay! <sighs> We're tired, <laughs> but we made it. <laughs> no, we made it successfully. Not only uh, just the two of us, but like the vehicle, zero problems. Yeah. None. Nothing. 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 We had a belt that's making a little bit of noise, but it's it's just a minor whirring and probably just need some uh, belt lube or uh, belt dressing. But no complaints. Uh, everything yeah. went right. And um, to all those naysayers out there who said, don't take the Pajero, don't take the Pajero. Yeah. Look, we did it. We did and it. And actually, there were really nobody. There were no naysayers. I just made that up for drama. Anyway. Well, yeah, you never know. Slow, steady, constant. We did it. We did it. We did it. Hell yeah. Boom. <laughs> Boom. Peace. <laughs> Peace out. <laughs> Our good friend Wayne Mars, who I did our court. 